The 7th of July 2016 saw Mongolia inaugurate its 29th Prime Minister, Jargal Tulga Erdenbat, after the Mongolian's People Party won 85% of the Great Haral, or seats in Parliament, in a landslide victory over the incumbent Democratic Party. But who is he? Who is the man that's been elected to govern Mongolia for the next four years? We shall see now. Erdenbat was educated in his home province of Slink before studying economics at the Institute of Trade and Industry. His political ascent has been guided through 19 consecutive years of civil services, most prominently as provincial governor of Salink between 2008 to 2012. Thereafter, he made it into the national scene being appointed in Shahen Bilik's cabinet as finance minister in 2014. So let's delve into the political life of the man. What are his greatest political feats? In 2012, Erdenbach led a nationwide campaign to boost agriculture in Mongolia. The campaign encouraged self-sufficiency in Mongolia's agriculture firms, imposing import tariffs and tax grants, resulting in exponential growth of the agricultural industry. On the contrary, however, it was discovered that Erdenbach is a majority shareholder at Sute & Co, which is an agriculture firm. So does perhaps this hint at an ulterior motive for his campaign for agriculture? So let's move on to what he hasn't done well, the scandalous moments of Erdenbat. erdenbat has been criticised for allegations over mismanagement of government funds in multiple instances. For instance, Wikimon accused Erdenbat of laundering his budget during his tenure as governor of Selink into his campaign for a seat in Mongolian parliament. The 1 billion Tugrugs worth of funds were intended for the Producer Families Initiative, which was aimed to subsidise manufacturing industries in Shilink. However, Erdenbach has since been accused of swindling taxpayer-funded budgets as an optionally returnable soft loan. Nonetheless, his election inspired confidence in the economy, reflected in his experience in financing the expansion of the Oyotolga mine. As a testament of confidence, the price of the Oya Tolga mine stock increased when Erdenbach assumed office. So in conclusion, the jury is out on the effect of such a majority government. Some argue it enables efficient policy implementation, whereas some say it could spell corruption with limited opposition. Ultimately, regardless of Erdenbach's political past, Mongolian faces an uphill climb to stabilise its struggling economy, which is challenging for any government to tackle.